Did you know that radiotherapy can cause heart problems, brain damage, and more cancer? If you avoid radiotherapy, you can lower your risk of cancer or other dangers. In this video, you're first going to learn the history of cancer radiation. After that, you'll discover how radiotherapy works. And finally, you're going to learn about radiotherapy side effects. So let's start. William Röntgen was a professor of physics in Würzburg, Germany. One day in late 1895, he began experimenting with cathode rays. Röntgen explored the path of electrical rays passing through an induction coil through a glass tube. He covered the tube with black paper. So even though it was pitch dark, he saw how the rays illuminated a screen. Röntgen later realized that these rays could penetrate various objects. So later he used a photographic plate instead of a screen to capture images. He then took the world's first x-ray, a clear image of the bones and wedding ring of his wife's left hand. Röntgen labeled his discovery x-rays. X-rays soon became an essential diagnostic tool in medicine. Doctors could now see inside the human body for the first time without surgery, so scientists were quick to realize the benefits of X-rays. But they were slower to grasp the harmful effects of radiation. The scientists believed that X-rays passed through flesh without harm, but later they discovered some disturbing side effects. Soon there were reports of cases of burns and skin damage caused by X-rays. So in 1904, Thomas Edison's assistant, Clarence Daly, who had worked with X-rays, died of skin cancer. One of the first Americans to use X-ray radiation to treat cancer was Emil Grubb. As part of his work, he often played with the latest electronic gadgets of the day. He became aware of Röntgen's discovery and set out to make his own X-ray machine. As a result, he was able to reproduce Röntgen's work. Grubb was his own guinea pig, so every day for two weeks he took numerous x-rays of his left hand. So at this point, no one yet understood how dangerous the overexposure to x-rays was. As a result of his experiments, Grubb developed severe burns on the back of his hand. On January the 27th, 1896, he consulted his medical professors. The physical damage that the x-rays did to Grubb's hand amazed his colleagues. After Grubb talked to his co-worker G.A. Gilman, he got an idea. What if you could use x-rays as a way to treat diseases? If x-rays could damage healthy cells, then they might be able to treat cancer. Grubb then tried to find patients to treat. One of his first patients was Rose Lee, a 55-year-old woman who had breast cancer. He agreed to try Grubb's radiation therapy for her breast cancer, but sadly she died within months after her treatment. Grubb's ongoing exposure to radiation caused burns on his skin, so in the course of his lifetime he underwent more than 90 operations for multiple cancers but radiotherapy became a cancer treatment method. So now that you know the history of radiotherapy, let's learn how it works. Radiation therapy uses radiation beams to kill cancer cells. You can use radiation alone, but most often oncologists use it together with chemotherapy or surgery. The primary purpose of cancer radiation is to shrink tumors before or after surgery or oncologists use it to ease symptoms in late-stage cancers. There are two well-known radiation therapies. One is external beam radiation therapy, and the other one is internal radiation therapy. External beam radiation uses a machine that delivers radiation from outside the body, and internal radiation uses pellets or seeds that give off radiation beams inside the body. The treatment method used depends on the type of cancer you have. Radiotherapy works by aiming a high dose of radiation towards a person's tumor. 
the radiation damages the DNA in the cancer cells. Normal cells also become damaged by the radiation as it travels through the body. Healthy cells are better at stitching together their DNA than cancer cells. Cancer cells can't handle the radiation and die. Any harm to healthy tissues is a potential health risk. Therefore, doctors spread the radiotherapy sessions over time. There are many different side effects of radiotherapy. The symptoms experienced depend on the area treated. Some common side effects are fatigue, skin irritation including swelling and blisters, hair loss, urinary problems, loss of taste, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, tissue inflammation, hormone problems, and the worst side effect of all, cancer. X-rays and gamma rays are human carcinogens. The cancer-causing abilities of radiation are evident when you study the evidence. These include studies of atomic bomb survivors in Japan, people exposed during the Chernobyl nuclear accident, patients treated with high doses of radiation for cancer, and uranium miners. A single source of exposure to radiation is unlikely to cause cancer by itself, but the combined exposures over our lifetime increase our cancer risk. Every time you go through radiotherapy, you elevate your cancer risk. That is why you want to question its use. Children are more sensitive to radiation exposure than adults. Sometimes patients can receive high doses of radiation because of computer errors. Besides cancer, this overdose can cause severe wounds to the skin, bone, organs, or lead to your death. Radiation therapy can also cause heart problems when doctors treat the chest area. This effect is called cardiotoxicity. It happens when oncologists expose the heart muscle to high doses of radiation. For example, when they treat Hodgkin's lymphoma and cancers of the lung, esophagus, or breast. Cardiotoxicity can develop within days, months, or even years after radiation treatment. It can reduce the patient's quality of life and increase the risk of death from heart problems. Radiation therapy is often used to treat primary brain tumors. The cure rate for the most common brain tumors is low. A lethal side effect of using radiotherapy to treat the brain is radiation necrosis. Radiation necrosis is the death of healthy tissue caused by radiation therapy. It kills the majority of its victims. Statisticians can often say that the radiation cured the patient of cancer. But if patients later die from other causes, they don't blame the therapy. Today you learn about radiotherapy and its lethal side effects. Emil Grubb was one of the first Americans to use X-ray radiation to treat cancer. Radiation therapy uses radiation beams to kill cancer cells. The primary purpose of cancer radiation is to shrink tumors before or after surgery. Radiotherapy can cause heart problems, radiation necrosis, and secondary cancers. So after watching this video, you should now know that if you avoid radiotherapy, you can lower your risk of cancer or other problems. Download this questionnaire before you go through radiation therapy. Learn the questions you need to ask your radiation oncologist before risking your life. The things you can learn by asking them these questions might save your life. A link to this document is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then press the like button and subscribe to this channel. Share this video on social media to all your friends and families. Please visit our blog at cancerwisdom.net to learn non-toxic ways to treat cancer. You can also download more free documents in our free resource library and learn other ways to prevent cancer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.